Okay, enough playing uh, Apex. Time to figure out how to add syntax highlighting to Notepad++. Okay, so we have uh, here a file, a uh, Fallout MSG file for text and such, and I want to have it some syntax highlighting so my brain doesn't have to go like, oh, squirrely bracket, squirrely bracket, squirrely... Oh, here's a text. And here does it end. And, oh, that's a comment. So, yeah, I want to speed up the process. I want to uh, take off brain work so I can focus on the languages. How to do that? How about MS... No. How about Fallout? No. User-defined language. Yes, let's define your own language. In case you're curious, I'm using the Bespin style. That's the best style. Fight me in the comments. I want to create a uh, style for this normal text, which is not normal text. It's a Fallout Classic MSG file for dialog. Sometimes you can just get away with using some other language. For example, C is doing great, except for punctuation. And maybe Python is all right as well here. It's pretty good, but not perfect. Back to normal. So let's go to language and user-defined language and then define your own language. And I'm going to start with comment. Let's start with this comment style. Save as. We're going to call this Fallout MSG. OK. And we're going to also set this to what we're using over here. It's saved in here. So that's great so far. Let's put the hashtag actually over here. That seems to work. And we're going to have to style this. All right, so I just researched for a few minutes. You cannot have transparent background color in this version of UDL and this version of Notepad++. Let's see, uh, just so you can check about Notepad, we have 791 and UDL 21012. So go check if there is new versions and maybe they have something. But uh, the ticket I'm looking at is from 2018. So huh, good luck. It's probably still the same. So background color, we're going to actually select the color from the background for which I am going to use color cop. I guess you're going to have to use another color picker. Over here we got... Oh, oh great, I'm going to have to type them in. 42, 33, 28 and uh, add to custom colors. Please stay there for crying out loud. All right, let's make comments grayish, I suppose. Um, all right, we'll, we'll deal with it later. Well, we got comments down, eh? All right, let's set the default style, which is certainly not black on white. Yuck. We're gonna have to use the default color. Very good, very good. And uh, I guess set this white. Ugh, not so nice. New window. Just test type, see what kind of color they use here in this theme. Okay, so this is gonna be 2212102202. Thank tab for letting me jump around. Jump around. Let's add this to... Ah, oh, come on, man. Don't freak out. Okay, 40, 42, 33, 28, add to custom colors. Everything is fine. So back to... So back to this and let's set the foreground color. Okay, that's better. And let's see, I guess I'm just gonna make these like... Uh, what does a bash do? B bash. Batch? No, I, I meant... Oh, I guess it's SH, shell. All right. Sure, I'll just make them yellowish. Okay, let us style the operators. This one open, and then we need a spacebar, and this one close. And the numbers are numbers. I don't care. I am losing patience about the... Oh, the custom colors are gone. Of course, of course. I love this so very much. I love it. I just love it. For. 23328, add to custom color. How the heck do we handle this now? I guess with numbers? Number style? No, that doesn't... Oh yeah, it does work. Freaking heck, yeah. Okay, so we can actually modify these as well. Yeah, freaking heck. Unfortunately, the numbers inside the text will also be um, highlighted. Not sure we can do anything about freaking that. Anyways. Background. You know what, I guess the solution is to just use the same color we're using there, which is uh, this here, right. 2212102. Add to custom color, okay. Numbers over here. Blah, click, done. All right, so we solved that little problem. Ah, uh, we are done with this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Closing that. All right, so this is uh, working now. And the cool thing is, if I drag in new files, 
of the same type with the same file ending. It works as well. As I said, I have no clue where this uh, language file is actually stored. It certainly is not in here. Oh, right. So what I, c I mean, in case you care, what I can do is select the language, go to define your language and then save as, no, 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 not save as, but export. Yes, I can do that. Followed MS, S, MSG, MSG, MSG. And then you can import followed MSG, which I don't understand why it's possible. Oh, great, now we have two. So remove that one. Yep. Click. Uh, right, all right, language followed. All right, so everything is working, kind of. Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna go crazy and also make these things uh, do things. Can I? Can I do that? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pick the background style, which is gone over. No, it's still here. And I'm gonna use. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba yeah, this, this should go well. Seems fine to me. Follow me for more Notepad++ mastery. So yeah, I will put this on GitHub and put the link in the description of this video. Until next time, ciao.